The sign making techniques in this video were all demonstrated by Michael Bloomquist, master sign maker and owner of the Hayward School of Dimensional Sign Making. Preparing the stencil. First, remove the non-essential border around your design from the mylar backing, keeping things as workable as possible. Next, you'll need to remove the stencil from the mylar backing. A large piece of transfer tape is perfect for the job. Carefully position the tape over the stencil, being careful to minimize bubbles or seams. Cut at the edge. A smaller piece of transfer tape may be needed to finish the job. Apply with the same precautions. The next step is to adhere the transfer tape to the stencil. There are two methods. The first is a squeegee. Run the squeegee over the surface as shown in smooth, even strokes. An even more effective tool is an ink spreader, which is a hard rubber roller. Press out the air completely between the stencil and the transfer tape. Once the transfer tape is attached and rolled, flip over the stencil to remove the mylar backing. Slowly pull the mylar off at a shallow angle. Keep the mylar for later use in gluing. When trimming the transfer tape, leave an inch or so on either side to give you room to handle the stencil. Next, flip over the stencil, sticky side down, and get ready to position it over the sign foam. Place it parallel to the bottom and even with the outside edge. Once you're sure it's properly aligned, push one side down and slowly ease your way across pushing out the air as you go. Once again, use your roller to adhere the stencil to the sign foam. Once you've rolled the entire surface, remove the transfer tape. This is a critical step, so take your time. Hold the tape at a shallow angle where you do not remove any of the stencil as you go. Dispose of the used transfer tape. A good way to define the cutout area of the stencil is to apply a light coating of stain. First, lightly dampen a clean rag or paper work towel, then dip it into a dark stain. Then, quickly wipe the surface of the stencil until the outline of the cut areas appear. After the surface is lightly stained, take another wet rag and quickly wipe off the excess. The design is now much more visible. 